Hello guys, hello YouTube. I'm gonna um show you. I just made this um Xpatter setup installer for my computer, so that you can just install it Xpatter whenever you want. Instead of just getting, because some people have trouble like just taking the files and putting them in the desktop, doing whatever you think you lose them, you won't have this anymore. But I would take this and make a file and then put it for media fire and stuff. So, I used it with install creator. I will put them, I'll put everything that you need and stuff in the description for you guys. Just in case you want to create your own setup installers or something like that. Okay, so let's get to it. X pattern, here we go. I'm going to delete everything of what X pattern is. And so, there. So, yes, I'm just going to go down and delete X pattern out of my directory so I can just do a clean, fresh install. Even though there's nothing in the folder. So now, open up this. The, the, the XPatter setup of the file. Just click yes. And here it is. Welcome to, to the XPatter setup install program. This program allows you to install XPatter setup on your hard drive. It is strongly recommended that before proceeding, you ensure that no other Windows programs are running. If you do this, wish to install XPatter setup, click exit. Wait, no. If you do not wish to install XPatter setup, click exit now. Otherwise, click next to continue. Just click next on it. Click exit. Just click next. <clears throat> Please read this. Do not, you ha do not do anything without reading this. Because you must read it. So I'm going to read it right now. Please read. When install installation completes, you have you will have to right click on the shortcut on the desktop and go to the comp compatibility tab and check the box run the program in compatibility mode for. It's not smiley face, it's just a semicolon with the parentheses closing it. So and drop down arrow and find Windows 7 this is only for Windows 8 thank you enjoy what it means by this is only for Windows 8 is this can be used for Windows 7 Windows Vista Windows XP and 2000 Windows 2000 but I'm making this because Windows 8 doesn't support doesn't it doesn't compat it doesn't have the right compatibility so if you try to Make it for compatibility. Well, what I mean is, well, hold on one second. What I mean is, oh, what well, was I gonna say? Um, hold on. I'm just gonna install. So, agree to the terms. Don't read them, you don't have to. But, you want to change this, because it won't want to be X pattern setup. So, just erase the X pattern setup thingy. Like this. Find the directory that you want. Click local C. And, um. Click make a new folder, name it X pattern. X pattern. Now, okay. So, now just click next. This program, right there. Done. Just click start. It'll put it into the file and click next. Exit. It won't create a um, desktop thing. It won't create a thing on the desktop. 
so you need to go into the directory. Now program files, find X pattern, and here's your files. I yeah, there. So now just click right click on this, then click send to the desktop. Then click then then right click properties. Move the tab compatibility. And this is what I meant. Because it doesn't Windows 8 doesn't um doesn't support it. Because it's only like for for other Windows. See if I click on this. It says unsupported Windows version detected. 6.2. This program requires advanced features that only supported that only that's only supported by the above versions. But when you right click and change the compatibility, pick this box, drop down arrow, Windows 7, and apply. And when you click on it, it registers that you're running Windows 7. So just click start. Okay. Okay. Pick your language. In English. So if click start. Start. And just click program location associate with. And we are done. So all you gotta do is find the the image that it comes with. No, 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 wait, wait, that's wrong. You just click open. No, 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 wait, wait. No, new. And then open. And then look for this right here. I, there's only two for PlayStation 3 and Xbox. So just click the Xbox one if you want an Xbox controller that you're using. So, after that, you can just configure your controller. I will configure it. So, I'll hold on, pause the video, and then after I'm done, it's all configured. Make sure you configure every button on this controller. The middle one doesn't work, so sorry. So, I'll, I'll see. Alright, I'm back, and, um, they're all configured and stuff, so you just click OK. And then it's all done. Just configure the controller for whatever game you're playing. And then that's pretty much it, so. Yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked this video. I'm sorry about the big gap in the, um, talking. You can skip what, what I was talking about, because I figured out what I was talking about, about the Windows 8 and stuff. So you can just skip over that part. Whenever, sorry for the length of the video. So I'll see you guys later, and hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, rate, and comment, and uh, I'll see you next time when I make another video. So.